will come again. Before moving to graphs and the three Selger themes, I'm going to review uh, the basics of the graphs and the trees. A graph is a nonlinear data structure that consists of a set of nodes or vertices or points, sometimes called, and a set of edges that relate the nodes uh, to each other. The set of edges describes the relationships among the vertices. For example, a graph G is defined as follows. G equals VE, where V is the set of uh, vertices, non-empty set, and E a set of edges. For example, in this graph, we have the vertices A, B, C, D, E, and the edges C, A, C, B, C, D, C, E, A, B, B, D, and D, E. There are several applications of the graph theory in computer networks, in computer science, uh, in different scientific applications, in different engineering applications, and general applications as well. When the edges in a graph have no direction, the graph is called undirected. Like in this graph, we have the vertices and the edges, but the, uh, there is no direction for the edges. When the edges in a graph have a direction, the graph is called degraph or directed. Uh, do you see here the vertices are A, B, C, D, E, and the edges are A, B, A, C. It's wrong to, to write B, A, because there is no edge, directed edge from B to A, uh, but here we can write A, B, or B, A. Now, regarding degree, in undirected graph, the degree of a node or a vertex B is the number of adjacent edges to vertex B in G. For example, the degree of A is 2. The degree of B is 3. 1, 2, 3. The degree of E is 2. The degree is, of F is 0. Now, we have the vertices. If we count the degrees for all the vertices, then the sum of the degrees, as you see, equals to 14. The sum of degrees is double the number of edges. Here we have, as you see, seven edges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In a directed graph, we have two uh, kinds of degrees. In degree is the number of incoming edges. Out degree is the number of outgoing edges. For example, the in degree for A is zero, since we haven't any incoming edges to A. The out degree of A is two. For example, the in degree for C is equal three, and the out degree is one. Again, if you list the vertices here, all the vertices, and the in degrees and the out degrees, you will find that the number of in degrees and out degrees, the sum of in degrees and out degrees are the same and equals to the number of edges in the graph. Another graph, another graph is a graph containing no edges. As you see, this is another graph. Regular graph, regular graph is a graph where each vertex has the same number of neighbors, or all vertices has the same uh, degree. These are examples of uh, regular graph. Adjacency. In a graph, two vertices are said to be adjacent if there is an edge between the two vertices. For example, vertex or node A and B are adjacent since their 
uh, is an edge uh, between them. A and F are not adjacent. D and E are adjacent. D and C are not adjacent since there is no edge uh, between these two vertices. Two edges are said to be adjacent if there is a common vertex between the two edges. For example, BC and BE are adjacent edges since the vertex B is common. But the edge BC and DE are not adjacent since there is no common uh, node or vertex between them. Uh, parallel edges in a graph if a pair of vertices uh, is connected by more than one edge then those edges are called parallel multigraph a graph having parallel edges is known as multigraph here we have uh, parallel edges so the graph is called multigraph Regarding connectivity, a graph is said to be connected if there is a pair between every pair of vert vertex. Uh, from every vertex to any other vertex, there should be uh, some path to traverse. Uh, do you see, do not confuse between the uh, adjacency and connectivity. For example, A and B are adjacent vertices. A and E are not adjacent, but uh, there is a path, this graph is connected, since there is a path uh, from any node to any another node. For example, from A to E, there is a path A, B, B, E, or A, B, B, D, D, E, or A, D, D, E. So, uh, if there is a path between every pair of vertex, then the graph is connected. Strongly connected graph. A directed graph is strongly, is strongly connected if there is a path from A to B and B to A. For example, uh, there is a path from 0 to 2 and a path from 2 to 0. Here, we have a weakly connected a graph, weakly connected or not strongly connected a graph. Complete graph. A graph G is complete graph if every node U in G is adjacent to every other node V in G. For example, A is adjacent to B, C, D. B is adjacent to D, C, A. C is adjacent to all other nodes in the graph, etc. Number of edges in a complete graph is equal n multiplied by n minus one over two. Here we have four uh, vertices, so the number of uh, edges is six. You can count them, and you can draw any another complete graph and test. Here are examples for complete, different complete graphs. Weighted graphs. In a weighted graph, each H E has a weight denoted by W E. Uh, the weight depends on the application, may represent distance, length, capacity, cost, uh, time, etc. A cyclic graph, a graph with no cycles, is called an acyclic graph. We have in cycles, but if we have cycles, the graph is called a cyclic cycle graph, cyclic graph. Now regarding trees, a tree is nonlinear data structure as a graph compared to uh, linear data structures su such as arrays, linked lists, stacks, queues, etc. These are linear data structures. The trees and the graphs are nonlinear data structures. Uh, a tree does not have any cycles, 
here a graph we have we may have cycles one or more no cycles in the tree one thing usually a tree uh, has one node as a root uh, and the number of edges in the tree with n nodes is n minus one a tree must be connected which means there must be a path from one root to all other nodes for example uh, the path for h is a b b e e h this is the node this is an edge and if this is an edge this is a path a b b e e h uh, children d and e are children b e is the parent of g and e h b and c are siblings since they have the same parent a d and e as well parent parent b leave is the node that has no children like d g h f in this graph level the level of a node is the number of edges on the path on the path from the root node to n for example here we have the level of e is one two do you see if we start from zero then the level is two but if we are uh, sometimes uh, we may start from one, then the level will be three. The height is uh, of a tree is equal to the maximum level of any node in the tree. Here is a comparison between the graph and the tree. Both are nonlinear that structure. And on the graph, we may have more than one path, but on uh, a tree, only one path. Uh, path between two vertices a graph does not have a root node in a tree we have one root node a graph can have loops no loops are emitted usually uh, trees are less complex than graphs Regarding traversal techniques or methods, we will come to that. In the graph, there are two techniques, uh, depth first, first search and breadth first search. Uh, these are also applied to three, but uh, we say pre-order, in order, and post-order. Number of edges is not defined in the graph number of edges is n minus one in the tree where n is the number of nodes do you see if you add one edge then you, you will have a cycle if you remove one edge then the tree will be disconnected uh, model type network hierarchical regarding the usage the main usage of graphs is scaling and job scheduling. Uh, the main usage of uh, trees is sorting and traversing. Binary tree. A tree whose element have at most two children is called a binary tree. Here is uh, a binary and really this is a perfect tree. Uh, do you see if you add here, for example, or anywhere here, extra node, then the tree will not be binary since node three will have three children. Uh, the maximum number of nodes at level i uh, of a binary tree is two to the power i minus one. Do you see if we consider root at level one, this formula is true. Is root at uh, level zero, then the maximum number of nodes at uh, level i 
is just 2 to the power i. If a binary tree has height h, maximum number of nodes uh, will be when all levels are completely full. So maximum no number of nodes, we sum the nodes at all the levels, 2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, and 2 to the power h, since the height is h. This is equals to 2 to the power h plus 1, all minus 1. If a binary tree has height h, minimum number of nodes is n plus 1. This is in this case, if we have only just this tree, or for example, this is also a binary tree, just node 1, 3, 7, 15, 31. This is a binary tree as well. A full binary tree, sometimes called proper a tree or two tree is a tree in which every node other than the leaves has two children. Every node should have two children, except the leaves. This is a full, these are examples of a full binary tree. A complete binary tree is a binary tree in which every level, except possibly the last, is completely filled. And all nodes are as far left as possible. These are two examples of a complete binary tree. A perfect, perfect binary tree is a binary tree in which all internal nodes have two children and all leaves are at the same level. This is a perfect binary tree. These are uh, examples, the, these two trees are full, but not complete. These two trees are complete, but not full. These two trees are uh, not complete and not full. These two trees are full, and complete. This was a, a quick uh, review of the uh, graphs and the trees basics. Now we move to uh, graphs and the trees algorithms. Thank you.